on, everybody? Uh, high short interest stocks have been a, a popular topic on Twitter these last few weeks, so I thought I'd make a video myself. Kind of go over some charts that I'm seeing and give you guys some background on how to trade these. Uh, before we start, first thing I want to say is that any stock that has high short interest is more than likely not a good stock. Um, you know, there's a reason that there's so many people shorting these, whether it be, you know, based on technicals or fundamentals or macro, what, what have you. Um, the market is telling you that by owning this, you're going against the consensus, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it means that usually you don't have a tailwind behind you unless that we get a squeeze, which is what everybody's looking for. So risk management is really the most important thing in all of trading, but especially when you're in, you know, a stock that's potentially going through a squeeze. These are not stocks you buy and hold. Um, you know, these are not stocks that you position trade that you, that you look to average down on. These are literally momentum only plays that if you're wrong, you better be wrong real quick and you better get out real quick if you're wrong. So with that being said, Let's take a look at some of these. So this is Kohl's Corporation. Um, I don't know if you've been to a mall recently, um, but nobody else has either. And that's why Kohl's has one of the highest short percentage, or short interest percentages in all of um, the market. Looking at this chart, we did get a pretty br big breakout today. And the stock is, is definitely squeezing up 7%. Not really something you see, um, you know, in a, in a well-established company. Uh, these 7% moves are pretty large. And so let's just take a look at how you could have played this one. And uh, if you get in early in the morning tomorrow, it's not too late. So we had this huge kind of ascending triangle. Um, we'll draw, you know, our chart like that. Pretty, pretty big breakout right there. Um, and we did get that on extended volume. So kind of how you play this trade is if you got in today or if you get in tomorrow, I'd use this gap, uh, this gap fill as your stop. So if, if price trades, below or at 2479 you got to cut the trade um if price starts to work well and we and we get up move higher you know maybe you look to take some off around this 30 dollar level and then uh this blue line here that's the 10 day moving average once price starts to or once the 10 day moving average starts to catch up to price and then you see it close below the 10 day that's going to be another trigger for you to sell so what you can do is you can kind of just run a screener for these um if one of them is working, you're going to find that a lot more of them are working. So if we move on to our next one, this is Carvana. It's been a huge mover this year. I think it was up like a thousand percent at some point, which is insane. This one has 16.3% short interest and it's setting up. This one has not broken out yet. So you can see we have a rising 10 day moving average. Uh, volume's kind of falling off or in this base. And we're looking to close above this 42.12 level. Um, if we can do that, we'll get a breakout. Your first target's going to be um, up here, which is a 35% move, which is pretty insane. And again, you know, if we get a breakout um, tomorrow above this 42 level, I would, you know, set your stop pretty damn close to that, um, just so you do get out quickly. Uh, look for high volume on the breakout, and that's going to be uh, a good reason to enter Carvana. Next up, we have SL Green Realty Corp. This one has a short interest of 25.1%. And with this being a REIT, I assume this one uh, just has a lot of debt or they had a bunch of bad loans, you know, what have you, I don't really care. Um, I'm, I'm more just trading this as a momentum play. So what we're seeing here is a base breakout. Um, if we take this to the weekly chart, you can kind of see, you know, this one's been around this $43 level for a while. Um, there's your cup and handle if you want to play that as a reversal. Um, so we're going to let price kind of consolidate. You've been seeing volume fall off in, in this pattern. Again, a rising 10-day moving average. That's that's something that you want to see in these, um, you know, in these short squeezes as well, is that the trend is your friend. And if the trend is behind you and we're getting a breakout, that's really when you want to enter. Um, again, this one can really move. We saw a 10% move here. That's a 5%. That's a 5%. So... Uh, a lot of action in this name, a lot of potential. Again, through the 4361 level on high volume, that's going to be your trigger. Uh, next up, we have Riot. If you've been watching the channel, you know uh, I've been talking about this one a lot because I am into this one. I'm um, actually got out today from uh, the close below the 10 day. So 
Now I'm looking to re-enter and this one also has high short interest. So not only is this a crypto driven stock, it's also a potential contrarian driven stock with the higher short interest. So like I said before, we're trading the $16 level. Uh, if price can trade sideways for a bit and then break out 16 on high volume, that's gonna be your trigger. Uh, and this one can really move. You know, if you wanna set your first target up here, um, uh, you know, around, uh, uh, what is that, around like 20 or so, that's gonna be a 29% move. And then last up, we have Impinge. This one has 14.4% short interest. Uh, it's been trading sideways for a while after this last power earnings gap here in October. And volume has been absolutely dormant. So uh, just look for that one. And uh, thanks for watching.